I have been requested to do a package opening slash walkthrough of my collector's edition of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1 limited edition. Um, 10 discs, 6 movies. Uh, I'll go into more detail here. Um, I've already obviously opened it. Yeah, this button at the top lights up the uh, shield symbol. And it is a briefcase. Anybody who has seen the Avengers will probably recognize it. Now these do not flip up. They are one piece with the top. So it's, there we go. And even though the button turns that on, in addition, when you open the lid, it lights up. <coughs> now, excuse me. Okay. Um, sorry, that wasn't actually part of the uh, original thing there. And excuse me if the cat uh, winds up getting involved here. But anyway, okay. Uh, let me see here. They have the movies. Whoops. Yeah, unfortunately, that is loose. And if you're not careful, <laughs> Uh, that'll happen. Okay. Oops. Maybe it was the way I put the discs in there with the uh, fatter end down. I think that might have been it. Regardless. Okay. So that's better. Um, <laughs> and my cat wants to get involved, but she's going to be in the way if she's not careful. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Of course, let me see here. Alrighty, we have, uh, let's see if we can try to get these in, uh, okay, there we go, in order. We'll start off with the Incredible Hulk, and it is just the Blu-ray. One thing I really love about these is the artwork. Okay, Incredible Hulk, and that's obviously supposed to be the Abomination. Uh, <laughs> okay, we have Iron Man number one, with uh, Tony doing his Jericho, excuse me, Iron Man number two, oh, oh okay, uh, once again, artwork, really impressive, okay, okay, Captain America is one of the ones that comes with the uh, 3D Blu-ray disc. So, once again, excellent artwork. Thor right, comes with the uh, 3D Blu-ray, and once again, with the artwork. Avengers. <coughs> Another one, 3D. And there you go. And one other disc that comes in is basically a making of Phase One archives. So there you go. Which basically brings it to a total of 10 discs. Oh, sorry. Okay, hold on one second. I'm trying to organize stuff back into where they can get into the case again. Okay. Put that right there. Sorry. Okay, there we go. There. Okay, now. Um, oh, that isn't there. Hold on. Okay. We have these files. Now, amongst them is this, which actually I don't want it to be too obvious. Well, the code, it doesn't matter because the code has already been used. But um, this is an interesting thing which I'll get more into in, in a bit. <clears throat> okay, I will put the shield aside. The first one here 
take a look. And classified Captain America. Says an active. Hi, Boogie. How you doing? <laughs> and <laughs> it has in it, uh, amongst other things, <laughs> well, I should say I'm going to go through everything here, but three of the trading cards. We have the picture that I believe was in Captain America's compass. Um, let me see here. Various paperwork about the Super Soldier Project. Um, Steve Rogers, a picture, the artwork he did. <laughs> <coughs> The first one. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> now here's, yeah, uh, Agent Romanoff, subject Tony Stark, recruitment assessment. Now, <clears throat> oh, that's right, when I folded this up, I put the stuff inside of the blueprints. <clears throat> okay, the blueprints uh, are supposed to be for a uh, arc reactor. <laughs> It actually says down there, Anton Venko. So. <clears throat> Who is the Iron Man? <clears throat> this is an actual napkin, by the way. <laughs> Actual tickets, a uh, little uh, flyer for the 1964 Expo. Um, uh, whole thing there. And yes, these are, let me see here if I can put it up to the light. Oh, they're not lined up. Hold on a second here. Uh, one second. Okay, you know what, <laughs> I'm not going to bother trying to line them up, but you see what they are, and they actually do line up, but i got to leave one hand uh, for holding the camera, which is actually my iPad, <clears throat> and the other one is going through the stuff, so no offense, <clears throat> you're not getting that. You have to buy it. <laughs> okay. Antigo. This is the thing about Thor. And amongst oh, the stuff that's in here is <coughs> Jane Foster's ID. <laughs> Enhanced driver's license for Dr. J. Blake. Even though they don't put doctors on driver's licenses. but And this is actually... I'm not sure if this is plastic or cardboard. It acts like plastic, but it feels like cardboard. Um, <coughs> Thor's wrist thing for the, uh, uh, for the, uh, hospital. We have the, uh, uh, drawing that he made. The picture of Thor in the thing. And a page torn out of the kid's book. So. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yes. And, oh, once again, just to show. There we go. Doesn't work every time, but I don't want to be too rough with it. Still flashing. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Well, the Angel Romanoff, Dr. Bruce Banner. This one's a little weird. They, they, they were obviously trying to come up with with, with stuff uh, with, that would have a reason to go in here. To start off with, they have Stark blueprints, 
This one is specifically the um, the Sonic Hummers. What do we want to call them? <clears throat> Get a little bit more light there. But yeah, the Sonic Hummers. Like I said. Okay, there is a cryosync. Once again, it it kind of it looks like aluminum. It kind of feels like cardboard or plastic. But regardless. Dr. Einstein stuff. And Explosion Rocks Campus. And this is an actual sticker for <laughs> A bottle of the stuff that uh, he was working in. Oh. Okay, this is a flyer for the research database, and this is a seriously redacted statement. <laughs> if you'll have to either pause that or get it yourself. Now, <clears throat> Now, this is some fun stuff here. Okay, we start out with a business card from Philip J. Colson. Uh, okay, this was, oh yes. Yeah, so, now, the thing is that this card was in that envelope. At least it was when I got it. Sorry. Need another hand to put that in there. Mind you, it may not have been because I apparently got mine not new. Okay. This is the old picture of the Tesseract. And, of course, a new picture, which looks so much better than that. But anyway. Um, and... It's got some info on the characters that weren't in the other ones. Now, this little thing is interesting, but we'll get to that in a second. And then there's this. Okay. Which is item 47, which is mentioned in uh, one of the shorts. Now, the thing is, if you take a look at this, oh, excuse me, oh, there we go, <laughs> had it upside down backwards, okay, if you take a look at the, especially that picture as compared to that picture, and then line it up, and then you get Director Fury has ordered you be sent to battleofnewyork.net receive for their operational liberation. Okay. Now, that's cool and all, and then you're asked to put in that code. I do not know what you get when you do that, because, like I said, mine was used, and somebody had already used the code. So, <clears throat> in addition to all of that, you already know about this. I got a little thing here, which actually is on a retracting thing there. Um, and there's the, that right there is actually printed out on paper. That's the old one. This is the new one that they printed out on plastic. And I just did this. And usually I have, whoops, sorry. I put that one on right there. So, it looks nice and official. Um, I'm so glad my cat got involved in this. <laughs> but uh, there you go. That's everything. Uh, wow, it took me almost 15 minutes to do this. Uh, I guess let me know if you have any questions. Talk to everybody later.